Test one, two. Good morning, everyone. We're celebrating Mass on Monday, the 18th week, in ordinary time. This Mass is being celebrated for the people of St. Dennis. All the earth shall bow down before you, O God, and shall sing to you, shall sing to your name, O Most High. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. I'll read from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the fifth month of the fourth year, the prophet Hananiah, son of Azor from Gibeon, said to me in the house of the Lord, in the presence of the priests and all the people, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. Within two years, I will restore to this place all the vessels of the temple of the Lord, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, took away from this place to Babylon. And I will bring back to this place Jeconiah, son of Jehokim, king of Judah, and all the exiles of Judah 
who went to Babylon, says the Lord, for I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon. The prophet Jeremiah answered the prophet of Hananiah in the presence of the priests and all the people assembled in the house of the Lord and said, Amen. Thus may the Lord do. May he fulfill the things you have prophesied by bringing the vessels of the house of the Lord and all the exiles back from Babylon, Babylon to this place. But now listen to what I'm about to state in your hearing and the hearing of all the people. From of old, the prophets who were before you and me prophesied war, woe, and pestilence against many lands and many mighty kingdoms. But the prophet who prophesies peace is recognized as truly sent by the Lord only when his prophetic prediction is fulfilled. Thereupon the prophet Hananiah took the yoke from the neck of the prophet Jeremiah and broke it and said in the presence of his people, Thus says the Lord, even so, within two years, I will break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, from the neck of all the nations. At that, the prophet Jeremiah went away. Sometime after the prophet Hananiah had broken the yoke from off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, go tell Hannah this. Thus says the Lord, by breaking a wooden yoke, you forge an iron yoke. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, a yoke of iron I will place on the necks of all those nations serving Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and they shall serve him, even the beasts of the field I give them. To the prophet Hananiah, the prophet Jeremiah said, Hear this, Hananiah, the Lord has not sent you, and you have raised false confidence in these people. For this, says the Lord, I will dispatch you from the face of the earth. This very year you shall die, because you have preached rebellion against the Lord. That same year, in the seventh month, Hananiah the prophet died the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach, teach me, me your, your statutes. statutes. Remove from me the way of falsehood and favor me with your law. Lord, Lord teach, teach me, me your, your statutes. statutes. Take not the word of truth from my mouth, for in your ordinances is my hope. Lord, Lord teach, teach me, me your, your statutes. statutes. Let those turn to me who you fear and acknowledge your decrees. Lord, Lord teach, teach me, me your statutes. statutes. Let my heart be perfect in your statutes, that I be not put to shame. Lord, Lord teach, teach me, me your, your statutes. statutes. Sinners wait to destroy me, but I pay heed to your decrees. Lord, Lord teach, teach me, me your statutes. statutes. From the ordinances I turn not away, for you have instructed me. Lord, Lord teach me your statutes. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and proceed him to the other side of the sea while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. 
During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once Jesus spoke to them, take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. After making the crossing, they came to land at Gennesaret. When the men of that place recognized him, they sent word to all the surrounding country. People brought to him all those who were sick and begged him that they might touch only the tassel on his cloak. And as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. The words of the Gospel, may our sins be wiped away. After the miracle of the multiplication of the loaves and fishes to feed the 5,000, Jesus sends his disciples by boat to the other side of the Sea of Galilee that he may go off by himself to pray. And as we heard proclaimed very early the next morning when the boat is still a few miles offshore, Jesus comes walking toward them on the water. Their fear is understandable. Peter's response is really one of faith. Several church fathers in commenting on this passage concluded that Peter was moved not by fear or foolishness, but by faith. St. Jerome wrote, Peter believes that by the will of his master, he will be able to do that by which nature he cannot do. And when Peter began to sink, Jerome added that Peter was tested so that his faith might increase that he will, under, he will understand that only by the Lord's power can he be saved. Well, friends, as Peter demonstrates in today's gospel, we can't save ourselves. It is only through faith in Jesus Christ that, faith, that salvation is possible. In this life, whether on land or water, we walk by that faith. It is our personal relationship with Jesus in the context of the body of Christ, the church that we can be pulled up from the abyss known as the world. Let us offer now our petitions to our Heavenly Father who loves us. For our church, may the Lord raise up holy men and women to, hum to humbly labor on her behalf. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, may our God of justice guide them in working for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are lonely or homebound, may Jesus' healing and consoling and be upon them, and let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God's word continue to guide us in truth and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, especially people of St. Dennis and Mass is being offered, may, God's, may the Lord welcome them into the fullness of the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our special intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we offer you these, our petitions. Answer them, increase our faith, so we may always walk with you in love. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, they'll become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. You should enter under my roof. But only say the word. My soul shall be healed. Body of Christ, give me safe for eternity. We have come to know and to believe in the love that God has for us.
Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Make a great day, everyone.